Alright guys, so this is Mega Snow Lizard, uh, talking about the last limb of Uranus, and this is the F-16 Fighting Falcon. And as we see here, um, here he is. Um, I'm putting him at this perspective because you don't notice the robot parts as much. And that's one of the drawbacks about this figure. Is you can't just leave him out and make people go, oh, that's a jet, and only a jet, you know? Here you actually notice all the robot bits. If I rotate him in from any other perspective, wow, okay, there's the whole robot for you. <laughs> and he doesn't really use this or incorporate the stand that well. I'm just balancing him on. And I like this angle, so <laughs> that's why I'm presenting him to you this way. Let me try to refocus here. There we go. And some signature things about this uh, F-16 Fighting Falcon. You see the bubble cockpit right here. That looks pretty nice. He has the signature uh, wingtip missiles and a single exhaust on the back, which I will show you in just a little bit. Oh, and his intake right underneath the cockpit. So that's what makes him unique amongst all other fighters on Earth so far that I could think of. Um, no, I bet there's other models that have the singular intake, but we'll just ignore those for now. So, um, this, F a little bit of history, the F, 16 was introduced in the late 70s and um, he's pretty he's pretty good he's still in service but they're gonna stop his production sometime in the, in, the, in 2017 so he doesn't have that long of a lifespan but he'll still be around so and he was a retool or redesigned from the yf16 and some models come with two seaters this one come with one and and he's just a unique aircraft in general. And so let's go straight into the transformation uh, because I don't like talking about, I won't be talking about the articulation in this review. I'm just gonna put that back to the side. And so, like always, we're just gonna remove the wings just to make things easier. Oh yeah, I didn't include the missiles because I don't want to uh, get in the way with that. So here's that part. What you can do right now is you can lift up these. Oh, you can't really lift up those. You want to pull these parts off first. Then you can lift these up at, at, at that joint. For some odd reason, I can't mess around with this until I do that part first. And then you could extend the legs. Oh my gosh, mine is really, really tough. Uh, so let's go separate the legs first, then extend the legs. Separate, then extend. Okay. So what you want to do is separate the tail fin first. There we go. Now let's extend. Yeah, that's a little bit easier. Then you can rotate the tail fin back. You can either pop it off or whatnot, but I'm gonna leave it on. There we go. And then the exhaust you can actually shove into the leg or the bombs of the feet which are right here with landing gears. So the landing gears are actually on the toes on this figure. So that's kind of, that's kind of unique too. Then you can bring these two parts down before they're up like that. And there we go. Then you can bring this cockpit down and turn the head. Then you can fold the arms in. Same thing on this side. And you can bend the arms down like so. <clears throat> Very easy. And as you see, I have trouble balancing this guy. So what you can do, you can fin rotate these fins back and use them as heels. Then he doesn't fall back as much. And then if you wish, you could always use these bits, wings and plug them back in. And do that, which I'm just gonna put one of them on for now. And there he is. Pretty nice, and you could use the guns or the missiles to use. You can plug it in here or on the hand. But a couple issues with my figure. Um, these things are not really that stable. This one, if you push all the way down, it stays in place. This one is, is a little bit more floppy. It's a little bit more loose. And uh, on the leg, you hear the rack joint. On here, you don't hear anything. So I really don't like that. And another problem, I know, there's more problems. This is the lowest he looks. So he always has that looking out in the distance gaze upon his face. Like he looks at an angle slightly up. And that kind of bothers me more than just having a crappy figure. 
all these things just I like having consistency and this guy is not that consistent however he's very unique compared to his brothers because he has his fake cockpit on top of his chest he has these gray bits going down from his chest to break up the red and he has the landing gears on his feet so he he's okay jet mode uh, it doesn't really please me. Robot mode, he's okay. I just wish they m made him a little bit more. They watch the, key, um, the quality issues in his robot mode. And um, you can't have Uranus with you can't have Uranus without him. So, oh well, this is what I have and this is what I'll use. So, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be even more disappointed with my next review. <laughs> as the SR-71, but he'll be coming up later on. So this is Megasloser signing off. See you guys next time.